Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. It is Thursday, July 11th, 2024. How are you guys? How y'all doing? How your mama and them doing? How you doing? <sighs> well, it's another day to give God some glory and praise. Amen, somebody. Amen. In spite of in spite of life, life, because life is life. So, check engine light still on. A W all wheel drive light, track off light is still on. Still on. He was supposed to come by last night. He did not come by. He's working on two other cars. It was getting late. I went to bed. So I just prayed and said, Lord, let the car start tomorrow, which has been starting, and let me get to work and get back. And um, yeah. So I, I just, I'm just, when I tell you, I'm tired of worrying and I'm tired of being stressed out about this car. I really, really am. I really am. But I said, Lord, you know. So I just have to have faith and belief that whatever it is, whatever, he gonna fix it. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Because I cannot worry about this car. I just can't. I'm tired. I'm tired of worrying about it. I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of stressing out about it. I'm just tired. I really am. This person was really be late because he, he all over the line waiting for the light to turn green. But um, I just have to put my trust and my faith and my hope in God and believe that, you know, whatever it is, he's going to fix it, find it. I still have my appointment to take it to Toyota. It could be the oxygen sensors. It could be, I think it's a misfire on one of the um, one of the uh, engine ignition coils because that's what uh, Amazon said. So I, I just don't know. It's running fine. But I wasn't waiting for him. I wasn't calling him. I wasn't asking him when he was coming back. I wasn't doing none of that. My mama says she's going to help with whatever the cost is to get it fixed. Because I, I, I just don't have no more money. I just don't. Once I paid the mortgage the other day, it just wiped me out. And... Um, friend of mine, two male friends of mine sent me some money, which I'm grateful. One of them is on here. Meadow Shrub is always looking out for your girl. Thank you so much. And I tell y'all, he is a sweetheart. He is a sweetheart. And he sent the money for Christopher. So I have to give it to Christopher. He's always looking out for me. And he's just just really, really a wonderful, sweet young man. Um, I don't know how old he is. I, I don't believe he's as old as I am. But he's just a lovely individual. He always emails me. He always tells me how much he loves my videos. He supports me over on OnlyFans. He's just, I mean... 
just a wonderful guy. And then the other guy who I've met over here and I've been knowing him now for a good little while, Van Johnson, he all, he's another one who really supports this channel and it's always, uh, you know, looking out for me. And I just thank God for great men and great friends. I really, really do. Um, you know, I've, I've said it to you all often over here. Um, I, 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 I really don't date. Um, I, I don't date at all. Um, I had that, you know, the one guy that I was talking to that I told you all about. Um, you know, we, we're it's okay with me and him. We talk here and there or whatever. But it's nothing, nothing. Um the same way with the other guy before him. I don't talk to him at all. Um, and I, you know, and just like this one, it just a fizz out too, you know, because that's how it go. But I appreciate people that love me and are concerned about my well-being and my child's well-being. And it is very difficult uh, when you are a single woman and you are holding it down. And I, I'm doing the best that I can to hold it down. You know, um, I'm doing the very best that I can with, uh, you know, with what I can. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the best. And I just did not, I didn't expect or anticipate this car breaking down like it did or having to prepare it so much. I just didn't, ex you know, I didn't expect that. Um, but I am supposed to be, I talked to my union and my union is supposed to be um, getting my um, my money from my job they, that they owe me. So hopefully I'll have that soon. Um, it has, we've been, this, I, 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 I'll tell you all this. This has been going on since March. Trying to get my funds. March. And it is now July. Almost August. And we're still going into, we're still dealing with this. Still. So, you know, I don't know why it's so hard for them. When they owe you something, they take forever. When you are in trouble or, you know, cause I, because I work for, you know, a major entity in this, in this town, you know, you can't, you can't have, um, you can't have no outstanding nothing. You know, and if you do, um, you gotta deal. You gotta you gotta deal with it, or do what you need to do with it. Do with it because you will get suspended. So they be on you about paying your your money, but they take forever to give you your money. So hopefully that's gonna I hope I hope and I pray that I'll have it before I leave. I hope. But there's no guarantee. You know, there's no guarantee. I'm just I'm disgusted. I'm just disgusted at this point. I'm just disgusted. I'm disgusted about that. I'm disgusted about this car. What I'm trying to do is not be in a bad mood, but I, 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 I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm just kind of in a bad mood, you know. Um, so, anywho, how you guys doing today on this grand? rising morning how you guys doing um i hope you've had a great week so far can you believe it we back at friday 
again the weeks are just flying it's just the time is just going back quick christopher uh starts school uh august 23rd and uh, uh they sent us an email saying we have, oh god first damn street oh then we can start buying their um that we can start buying their the shirts, the uniform shirts. He'll have to wear gray and black. He don't do good with light colors. I'm just gonna give you 100. He just don't do good with with light colors. But uh, he has to start. He starts school uh, August 23rd, and um, he's not. <laughs> This boy just don't like school. He just does not like school. And I think it has a lot to do with his learning disability. But he does well. He gets good grades, you know. Um, they assist him a lot, you know. He's in different tutoring programs and, and things like that. So he, he, gets, he gets good grades. But I don't know. This must be, they must be setting up. Oh, yeah. I think the... Yep, they setting it up. A chosen few picnic. Yep. I think it's this uh, weekend. This Saturday. See all the tents and stuff are up. Wow. So we have this big house music festival in Chicago every year. And it's, uh, it's this coming weekend. Um. I used to go. I don't go anymore. Um, I don't go anymore. I just, um, well, for one, um, one of the reasons why I don't attend anymore is because I love house music, but the cost is just ridiculous to me. And I don't have the money like that to spend $60 to go in the park and listen to house music. And I know the reason why they charge what they charge, you know. They charge this amount now. It used to be free. It was free. Then it went to $10. Then it went to $20. Then it was like $30 or something like that. $25 or $30. Now... It's like $60, $80. I think it's even more than that, depending. They got all types of packages, and, you know, they're saying that they have to pay uh, this uh, money because of the um, uh, the park park permit or whatever, whatever. I don't know. I think they gave a rundown of why it costs what it costs. But, um, and I could have gotten my tickets early, and I didn't. I missed it. And I didn't, I didn't, when the tickets went on sale, I missed it. it was, they had tickets like for 20 bucks. It was a Black Friday sale. You had to get those like back in the winter. And um, the other issue is the parking. And you, we used to park blocks and walk. Well, now they want you to pay for parking. They have different, different parking lots around the park. Like everybody has like a spot where you can park, you know? So, like I said, I used to go, damn, you all the way over here. Stupid ass. Big ass bus turning. He all the way over here in my lane. What the fuck you blowing at me for? Oh, they make me sick in this city. Nobody knows how to drive in between these curved lines. Anywho, so it's a it's a big musical festival. It's happening Saturday. People be out there all day long. They get out there like five in the morning, and um, they get out there like five in the morning, and they be out there till like I think it's over at eight in the evening um 
but it's always peaceful it's always quiet um it's always just a good time with people that are your age you know in your age group you know and if you like that type of music you know house music you know it's a good time it is a good time and um i love house music and it's something that uh originated in chicago um People come from all over the world to participate in it, and it's nice. So that's what I was looking at because it's setting up. Okay, you in the fast lane and you're driving this slow. Oh my god. People don't understand the fast lane means to go faster. She driving so slow. with these swimsuits. I haven't tried them on 
my trip along with the other swimsuits from from Shein. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. It's a it's a black swimsuit that I chose that has a cover. The swimsuit is built into the cover up. And it's sheer. Oh, it's pretty, 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 pretty. Then I asked for another one that had all these multi colors in it. And it comes with a pair of shorts like the one that I showed you all um, that had the top and shorts. And um, so I asked for that one. Oh, Chris and he said yeah I got it I got it because he was home yesterday and I was like why did I not get him and then I remembered why so yeah I like with new companies I try not to try not to give my mom's uh, address to them so yeah uh, so anywho um, that's that's <clears throat> so what else was I going to tell you all um, something else something else oh so I told you all about the mailman right I think I told you all about him so Yesterday, yesterday uh, again, I saw him, and same thing. And I'm just like, you know, I just can't believe the the, the immaturity of some men. I I really can't. thinking to myself yesterday and yesterday as he was coming to me I turned my head I didn't give him no no uh, eye contact I purposely did that like I don't have time for you but anyway um, you know how you think to yourself like you were such an idiot that was such an idiotic thing to do why did you do that it's like why? That's what I was thinking to myself yesterday. I was like, Sherelle, Sherelle, Sherelle. That was really stupid on your part to even give this man your phone number. Shouldn't have never did that, especially because you was not interested and you knew that. Anywho, so 
And then I had told my friend, the guy that I was talking to, I had told him, I had shared with him something. I had shared something with him that had happened to me the other day. And you would have thought that I had told him something that was like way, way, way out of the way. And he's weird too. Just just fucking weird. I just I'm like I'm just like I just shook my head. And I was like, well, I was like, that won't happen no more. You don't have to worry about me sharing nothing else with you. It was an incident that happened here at work. It was with me. And what happened was I had ate drank this iced coffee. And I had ate a breakfast sandwich. But prior to that, I had ate a blueberry. Um, granola bar and then I drank that iced coffee <laughs> and it tore my stomach up and I could barely get to the bathroom and I kind of like had a little accident and I was telling him about it and so I had to leave here leave work go home and I was saying that you know when we get to be a certain age our bodies it's like you can't mix certain stuff with certain stuff you know because it will it will make you you know it'll make you sick it'll tell you something come. well I guess he was just so totally grossed out by what I told him you know I'm like okay So yeah, he acted like I told him something, you know, something that don't happen to all of us. I was just like, whatever. Just, I just got on my nerve yesterday. I was like, okay. I was like, well, that won't happen again. I won't share nothing else with you. That's strange. Anywho, <laughs> um, so that was that, but um. Yeah, so yesterday, like I said, when I saw the mailman yesterday, I just purposely didn't give him no eye contact, you know. I'm like, you want to be childish? I can be childish, too. I mean, it is what it is. I just put you on my, my mother used to call it my pay me no mind list. That. My shirt today says this. I don't know if you all can see it make money not friends so I see that it's perfect for here because I can't stand some of these motherfuckers that work here um I, I just it, it's a few of them I cannot stand that work here and this is what's interesting to me you put yourself in a situation that you didn't have to be in and now you mad at everybody and you want to pull everybody down you want to take pictures of people and send them to the commissioner and all this old bullshit I said if they ever say something to me about the pictures that he took of me coming in the building or whatever I'm suing him I'm suing this place and I'm putting a lawsuit in for him for him I'm like, people got more balls 
in a brass monkey's ass. make no sense no sense at all people are so people are so cuckoo for cocoa puffs especially if this just I mean everybody got demons on their jobs but I think these motherfuckers here are possessed I really do I really really do So, we got one more day. One more day to do it with the bullshit. One more day to be here, period. One more. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go in here and punch in. Um, and um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I will see you all tomorrow. It was Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. I am always excited about Friday. Always excited. I'm telling y'all, if there was a way that I could retire, people say, well, what would you do? Wouldn't you be bored? No, I would not be bored at all. Not at all. I would find something to do. I got a whole lot to do. And I definitely would not be bored. All right, y'all. For those of you that are retired, I'm very, very jealous of you. I want to be where you are. As I know you enjoying life as you should. As you should. Okay, you all have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.